Hi everybody, this is Kitty and the Beast and today we're going to make pair earrings. Here are my main tools. I will not describe them now, if you are interested please ask me in the comments, I will try to answer. First of all, we're taking two equal pieces of yellow polymer clay. We start to shape it. We want it to look like a pear and of course, as usual, I use my pin first. Uh, I already told you guys that um, putting the pin in the beginning of the work is pretty good thing to do. If we put it after, there is a chance that it will destroy our work or at least it will be not very reliable and it will fall off. I don't want my pieces of work actually to have that. Now we flatten the surface a bit, it will be really easy to work with that, but please take care not to make it too flat, we don't want to have like a petal, it's a pear, remember about that. When the main shape is done, we're going to pay attention to some details. I took tiny pieces of dark brown polymer clay and rolled them between my fingers. putting them down the pair. I don't remember how those small dots are called, so if you comment down below and tell me, I will be really appreciated. to draw a line in the middle. It will not be too deep yet, but I will deepen it later. The middle part of the pair should be a little bit lighter. That is why I'm using some white polymer clay. You can see how I'm trying to blend it a bit. I do all the same with the second half of the pair, it will be our second earring. Blending, 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 and also deepening the line. Also making that little weird thing for the second half of the pair.
now is the time for the seeds. I'm not sure if I should comment on these because it seems pretty obvious to me. Uh, the only thing I should really say that it should be more or less uh, in the middle of the white part and really close to the line we drew before. As you can see, I use the same dark brown polymer clay for that. These green pieces of polymer clay are needed to decorate our pears from the top. We're gonna make some leaves. We're making two leaves on the top of each pear, so I divide them and roll them between my fingers. exacto knife to attach elements to our base uh, and also I use other instruments to press them a bit and to give it some texture. As you can see, our earrings are ready. I decided to boil these to make them even lighter, and when they're ready, I cover them with gloss varnish from Fimo. As you can see, now they have a nice gloss and texture and they look really great. Thanks for watching! I hope you liked this video and if you want to see more of these, please follow me. I'm also working on some other valuable materials exclusive for my Patreon followers only, so hope to see you there too! And stay creative with Kitty and the Beast! Goodbye!